So in our previous video, uh, we uh, flashed the firmware uh, in our HackRF uh, board, uh, the Mayhem firmware. So the firmware is already uh, uh, flashed in our HackRF board. In this video, we are going to uh, assemble our port pack. So if you haven't watched a uh, previous video, how to flash the firmware, you should watch that video. So you should know how to uh, flash the firmware on the very first time in the HackRF1 board. So uh, make sure you watch that video. So in this video, we are going to uh, assemble our port pack. So over here, you can, you, you can notice uh, I have uh, applied thermal tape on the sensitive areas. So over here, you can see uh, resistors and few components. So I have applied uh, the thermal tape because over here, we will attach our battery. So uh, that's why I, uh, I always recommend to get uh, your own uh, port pack separately from HackRF1 and you should assemble uh, yourself because uh, these things are not applied by the manufacturers, right? So you have to take care on your own these things. These, these precautions are not done by manufacturers. So I have applied uh, this thermal tape. Uh, this is the thermal tape over here you can see. So I've already applied this tape over here as well as I have applied the thermal tape on the back side of uh, HackRF1 board as well, if you can see. So I have applied this tape. And we are also going to apply this uh, thermal pad uh, so that uh, the, the components over, uh, air, uh, over here are not heated, right? So over here you can see a small double sided tape as well, right? So this is a, uh, a tape, double sided tape, is a, it's a thin tape, so you can use that one as well. And we are going to first apply this on our uh, device like this. And then again we are going to use this double sided tape So this tape is applied. Now we are going to attach our battery on this thermal pad like this and we will give a little gentle press. So the battery is connected. Now we are going to connect the wires so wires are also connected as you can see and now let's just try and it's working fine let's just turn off and now what we have to do is we have to assemble it but before assembling uh, what i'll do is i'll apply a tape over here as well so that the wires don't move that much right so let me apply tape over here as well so as you can see i have applied the tape over here as well so wires are not moving now and now let's just connect our hack rf1 board with our port pack so make sure all the pins are correctly lined uh, with male and female so over here these are the male pins and these are the female pins so let me just put it like this and then you have to gently press it like this from all the sides like this and from here as well see all right so it's lined up correctly now let's just try to start and we are getting on mayhem from here so this is how you can assemble your board and now what we have to do is we have to just apply our case with some screws over here and we are good to go and by the way you also have to uh, install uh, the uh, sd card a micro sd card on this board so you have to download all the uh, sd card files from the same link which i have shown in the first video so you have to download these uh, files and copy these files and uh, 
you have to uh, install the SD card uh, over here right so all the apps should work right so this is how you can uh, assemble your port pack thank you